All right, guys, we stopped at this John Deere dealership here in LaGrange, Indiana. We're right across the street from truckslaper.com. Alliance Truck Group, we're dropping the trailer taxi off, get interior work done. Before we do that, we unloaded the new truck. We still have a name for it. <laughs> and we're hooking it up to the trailer, and uh, we're going to pick up another cool project tomorrow, later, to say, later today. But for now, we're going to hook this trailer up. We may have to move this hitch around. You guys are probably going to say, well, why isn't he putting grease on it? Well, we're going to try to drive to a truck stop and get one of those nylon covers and put between them. Only because I don't want to get that trailer greasy because it pulls behind the Trader Taxi. And we're going to put grease on this fifth wheel when we do get the new heavy haul trailer. But for now, we're going to get it hooked up and uh, go drop the truck off. Talk to these folks about getting some interior work done. Tyler truck. <laughs> First hookup on the new truck. Boy, this is exciting. Boom. Oh. All right. Let's uh, check our trailer lights right quick. We got lights. Well, at some point, we're not worried about too much right now, so um, we'll probably move it once we get the load on it. All right, well, let's go next door. We'll go to the truck slaver. Talk to these guys about some material work. Shout out to uh, I'll put the name of the John Deere dealership down here. Shout out to those guys. Thank you for letting us use your dock. Nice folks. All right, folks, we made it over here to Alliance Truck Group or trucksleeper.com. We've got the, still no name. <laughs> We've got the new Pete hooked to the trailer. We've got the trailer taxi over here. We just spent the last hour cleaning this thing out. You forget how much junk you have when you've had a truck for a year. And we haven't even really drove it to really even call us having the truck for the year. But anyhow, it's over here. We got all the trash empty out of this thing. We're gonna walk inside talk to norm here and come up with the game plan of what we're gonna be doing to this bird and hopefully in three weeks to three to four weeks i'll be flying back up picking it up it'll be looking brand new like it should have been in the freaking first place so let's walk inside find norm while we're walking inside i'm gonna roll some footage from a video a while back when these guys did the interior in the cab over you guys remember how freaking top notch that interior was they do all kinds of cool stuff here like they build custom sleepers Big nice sleepers with showers and bathrooms in it, all kinds of cool stuff. So, let's go find Norm and roll the footage. Um, we covered up your access panel, we got carpets on the sides, we redid the top, the sides, and that's about all we did here. Uh oh, I don't know if I'm ready for the rear. Let's pull this back a little bit. This a little bit? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> Man, that is more than I could have ever imagined. Completely tuned Like in. speechless. I think there's another switch right here for the lights. Yep. Wow. This is like so nice in here. It's almost too nice. You guys overdid it. <laughs> it is not too nice. No, it's awesome. This is great. This is good good for a work And that's truck. stainless. That is stainless. That's yes. crazy how polished that is. Yep. Oh my goodness. Amber, you better not scratch, scratch this in here. Yeah. What is it? Ooh, I got me a nice little mirror. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get out of that as it being a mirror? <laughs> wow. That is so awesome. That means so much to me. It's not even funny that they came up with that. Some of these guys, it's nice weather here in Indiana. We're basically Michigan, like 
four miles that way, but someone rode their Harley to work. Two Harleys to work today. Check that out. My kind of people. All right, look at these, all these sleepers, guys. There he is. How's it going? Hey. Nice to see you. Been a hot minute. You guys remember Norm? We just rolled some footage on the video from when you guys did the interior on the cab over. Nice. Two or three years ago, it feels like now. A couple years it's ago, It's been yeah. a while. And as you know, I made a big mistake taking my truck to somewhere in Florida. And they royally, ru royally ruined it, and we brought it here because you guys are the place to go. So we take care of it. We're here, and we've got a lot of new subscribers now, quite a few since we were here yeah. last. And maybe we'll give them like a really quick tour of what you guys really do quick? here. Really quick, sure. And uh, we'll go over a couple ideas of what we're going to be doing on the interior on the new truck, and go from there. Okay. So we have a small shop. Uh, we got a little wood wood working area over here. Um, in here is where we do our, all our vinyl work. Um, I think in the previous video you had shown some footage of a bunch of the guys wrapping your stuff. And spraying the foam. Yep, spraying the foam. So we, we spray it all down and we wrap it here. Or the, the glue, I mean, it's glue, right? These spray or is it? Yep. Yeah. So we do like a foam uh, foam wrap with vinyl. Okay, yeah. So, so they actually make and sew everything right here. There's no like, yeah. you know, ordering it's, something made from someone else and then you guys do it all right here. So yep. all the way down to the stitching. All the way down to the sewing, which you passed when you walked by. Yeah, I'll have to check area. the sewing machines out before we leave. Look at all this foam. So, yeah. We'll wrap you in that and just kick you down a hill. <laughs> we got a little foam left. So, here's one of our projects we're working on now. Um, got that button tuck on the interior. That's going on another one of those Kenworths? Yep. Yep, this one of the Kenworths for IMT. Heard you guys are doing quite a few of those. Quite a few. 14 See, total. They everything down to the doors, right? You guys do yeah. all that here? Like yep. Everything. All these custom doors. Hot water heater in there. Check that out. Yep. Pretty crazy. So this is, they're adding our custom diamond windows in this. That's cool. Um, Needle inverter right there, boy. Jeez. Yep, 3,000 watt inverter. We have, this This is a shower unit, so okay. we have a full shower. You're just getting it cleaned up. Look at that. Gonna put a shower right there. That's crazy. Yep, got a nice sink, a little refrigerator. Is this like a, a granite or stone countertop too? Uh, yep, that's gonna be Corian. Yep. <laughs> None of that cheap, uh, what's the stuff called? The wood that's pressed and glued together? Oh, Formica. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Get the real stuff. So here's a different unit we've got, a different look. So this is a smaller unit. This is going to be more of a, uh, um, this is a little bit bigger, but this is going to look more like our hot shot units. Okay. Yeah. Where we've got some cabinets and a bed. This one actually has a double bunk on it. Oh, oh snap. Double bunk? <laughs> That might be something we need to talk about. Yeah. I might have to go over budget. I don't know how I missed that. We'll talk about when we go out of the truck. Okay. Let's finish the tour. Alrighty. So, so this is a lot more like our hot shot units. All the way down to the drawers too. Yep. That's crazy. Wow. Oh yeah. So that's that's gonna be your like portable desk. It's quality too, man. Like you see this back. You see some pretty terrible stuff out there. And it clicks in place. Yep. It's sliding out. Look at that. And um, we make all the drawers custom made so they whatever size you need we make them all custom dang so all they done a sleeper like all this stuff's made here look at that big daddy wow so that's when we're just waiting for the truck the truck's getting painted we're waiting to uh, mount this on the truck another one this one's got a bigger refrigerator in it it's still got a sink and everything wow. another button tuck so this one's got the wood door fronts on the cabinets. Look at that teardrop window, that's cool. Yes, yeah, so this is an old double eagle that we refurbished. So we reskinned this whole thing. So other than building sleepers, you refurbish yes. yep. sleepers too. So this one we refurbished, we, this is our, our custom teardrop window. Um, but this is, this is an older double eagle. How we, many people are refurbishing them either? Like, um, no. We we have a we have a double eagle in here to get refurbished about all the time. Yeah, about all the time. Look at that. So another one with the diamond tuck. Yeah, you almost get lost in all the buttons. Yeah. Wow. 
again, full shower. Same. Even over the fridge, look at that, right? Yep. Wow. So, as you can see, we've been doing a lot of diamond tuck. Yeah. Got a couple of refurbished jobs here. So this is gonna be our mounting area. This is where we do mounting and service. Wow, that's a crazy looking top there. Yep. So this is another refurbished job where we're completely gutting it and redoing the inside. Are you gonna replace all the uh, insulation in there or do you reuse it? Nope, replace it. That stuff yep. looks ancient. Yep. And we do, we're gonna redo all the cabinets. I mean, you can basically, when, when you do something like this, you can start from scratch and, and basically whatever, whatever floor plan you need, we can make it. This will be nice one day maybe. Look at that huge press break. So, and then uh, in the very back here, we have our, our uh, welding area. Welding area, which we got two, know, people two know, guys people back know in there. Welding is, yeah, yeah, people know what welding is. A little bit of aluminum and welding and stuff. But uh, that's our little shop. Well, let's go check out the sewing room right quick, but we'll make it out of the truck. All right. Okay, and here's where all our sewing magic happens. Carla here is the sewing magic person. <laughs> All of it happens in this room on this the table. Artist. She is the artist. Um, we That's do... a sewing machine and a half right there. Good yes. Lord. It's a long arm is what they call that. This is so you can get all that, the big panels underneath there. That's crazy. So how do you make the diamond, all the lines just straight? She's just that good? It's just straight? That good. All by hand. Yep. You draw the all the diamonds out first. Oh, okay. I, um, well, we're not going to tell them that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what it... Okay, and then you just sew right over the lines. What it looks like. Huh. But you just make a grid, and then after drawing the lines, then you just... Cover over them. them. Just yep. sew them. Then she makes it sound it. easy. Yeah. She doesn't make it sound easy. It it's is not. easy. <laughs> yeah. You know what you're doing. Exactly. That's crazy. That's not your grandma's sewing machine. <laughs> No, yeah. probably like that one or that one. Oh, a little dude. Like yeah, those off. are commercial sewing machines still. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, look at that right there. Smaller ones. Look at the motor underneath that thing right that runs it. That's crazy. Cool. All right, well, let's go out here and I'll show you this truck and all right. see what you think about all this. Well, first off, what do you think compared to the cab over? I think it's A little beautiful. bit of an upgrade? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is phenomenal. We Love it. Putting in a ton of work the last year to get it where I want it. We're, we're still planning on putting stripes down the sides of it and over the fenders because nice. see the frame is a different color blue. Mm -hmm. So we're going to incorporate that with a silver stripe somewhere and just tie them in nice. together. Yeah. But, so... I don't know how I forgot, I didn't think about it, but whenever Ryan and I travel, so it's a single bunk truck, right? Right. So you guys have to cuddle? No. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I bought one of those blow-up mattresses that you put yep. over car seats, you know, like in your back seat of your car, and he sleeps across the front seat, so gotcha. it's miserable for him. <laughs> and, you know, I kind of mentioned on the phone what I wanted to do, but I don't know how I didn't even think about so I've looked into like maybe trying to find someone that has a double bunk stand up already and see if they wanted to do some swapping or something, but most people that order their trucks like that don't want to do that. So right, right. maybe you'll let me know what it's going to be to add a, a bed up there somewhere or something, you know, just, you know, okay. I know you guys are super creative no matter what, but yep. that definitely is a way I think we need to go because I think if we were to invest in doing a bed versus $150, $200 night hotels, yep. And it would pay for itself, you for know, sure. after a few shows. So that's something I want to do. But yeah, look at the interior and you see where we where we're at now. The floor was nice and clean. I was keeping it clean until I just got so mad with the whole situation. I was just like, you know, whatever. But yeah, so this is all not the best quality. What do you think? Your honest opinion? I think we can we can fix her up. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, we want to do headliner, do some nice lights, do the doors. I'm thinking we go back to carpet on the bottom down there. Right, okay. And um, like the, the uh, what's the thing called between the sleeper and the cab? I keep forgetting that we're the... Uh, uh, the boot cover? The boot cover, yeah. What if I do like the boot cover and the, and the um, curtains there? Just make it, make it look nice. Okay. We can do that. It's sharp. Fix it up. 
Yeah, I think the the double the double bunk is really something we need to do. I don't know how I didn't think about that. But do you have any questions about anything? Um, preferences for color match, keeping the colors the same. I think it would be similar. cool with like gray and blue or something. Gray know. and blue. Okay. Definitely not this, which is in, like color matches nothing in the truck. Okay. So not that dark. Yeah, I'd rather okay. just like keep it like the color of the gray. There's because there's like two different colors of gray in the truck. Um, you know, just kind of tie it in. At yep. the end of the day, you know, like I've said, I'm not like super picky. Just make it right. Full headliner. Give it some class. Bulkhead. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be cool. Um, while I've got got it here, how hard would it be for you guys to? Because um, I've got two other speakers I wanted to put right above up there in the top. Yep. Can I ship those to you and just maybe install yeah. them and run the wires for me? You bet. So I'll get that done, and then that those will maybe look nice pulled up on the the upper piece too. Yeah. Anything in the sleeper? Yeah, they definitely want to do the lighting in here, and then if we're going to do the double bunk, you're definitely going to get way more detailed in the sleeper, I think, making that fit or work. I'm sure you guys, have you ever done one of those in one of these? Double bunk? Yeah, yeah. converted it. Because yeah. when you get one of these from the factory with, like, our buddy Bill, he had ordered a double bunk from the factory, and they don't, you can't get a window. Right. So we definitely want to keep the window, obviously. It'd be cool to have a double bunk with a window. Um, yeah, it sounds like I'm getting way much deeper in this thing than I thought I was going to be. I think it'll, be worth, it'll be worth it. That's usually end. how it happens. Definitely do something with this. Okay. And I'm thinking put something right here to cover our amp and our inverter right there because we don't really need that to be seen all the time. Okay. Yeah. I feel like the longer this video is, the more I talk, the more <laughs> the more we add to, add to it. it. It's just going to get crazy. Head all right, and I need you to have it done next week. Okay. That's. <laughs> I guess we're done here. Yeah. We don't want to talk anymore. Yeah. Um, how about the headliner here? We want to match the headliner in the cab and the. Because there's well, the, like or... that right there is vinyl, and then that part right there is plastic. Right. So I don't. I feel like if we were to do the whole thing, recover the whole thing, you'd have to recover the whole yeah, part too. Yeah. Like this, just this that panel one there. Do we there, want to match yeah. that panel with the cab headliner, or just leave it as is? I think it's are... going to fall back on you do what you okay. think looks nice. <laughs> okay. Because I'm not very good at designing and picking all these things out. Oh, one last thing. So this right here, this little, my base knob for the subwoofers there, you can kind of see it right there. Okay. There's a wire that comes off of that. And when I had the previous folks do it, not this one right here, this is for the food. No, it feeds down the it side It feeds there. down and I told them to run it. So, well, wherever they ran it, it's pinched somewhere and it's broken. Okay. And you can kind of see it whenever you're right here. They just oh. kind of left it dangling and it just kind of runs across the back floor. So I'll send you a new knob and a new wire. Okay. So that whenever y'all are doing the carpeting, if you can find a safe place to run it between, you know, right here and the front, that'd be really nice. Okay. Because right now it's rattling everybody's teeth out in the back whatever the radio's on but all right i think that's it i better leave <laughs> <laughs> better stop talking now yeah then maybe we'll have y'all guys can y'all guys whip up like little interior kits i wouldn't say like you know like replace the door panel and like the factory doors like if we were to just do something simple with that so like to make up a kit and send it with you yeah maybe you know like just to replace the factory overhead Let's go look at it right quick. All right. Something maybe just to kind of match whatever design we do in this would be cool. I think all the Peterbilt like interior pieces are all pretty the same. Like the door things are pretty much the same in all of them in the headliner. But I don't know about the flat top compared to the raised roof. Yeah, they're all the same. So like this piece right here. Right. And all the 389s is the same. Right. And then just, that piece, just, just those three pieces, I think, would make something not factory would be cool. So, it's a thought. Yeah, we could look at that. The whole yeah. headliner or just the center piece? Just that, just that piece right okay. there. Okay. Yeah. It's, that right there is the exact same as that up there. 
but I don't know if you have another 389, if you'll have one here or not with that piece. But. And then just the door insert? Yeah, just the door inserts on both sides, yeah. Or maybe, you know, I've got um, my friends in Tennessee, they've got a bunch of old ones. Maybe if you don't have anything to measure, I can just mail you some old ones. Yeah, you can do that. That'd work. Maybe I can mail you all. They should have all three. I can just mail you all three. Because the insert, you have to drill it out. Yeah, yeah. This, this ring has plastic. Yeah, you got to pull this. The same with that. You got to drop the whole headline to do it right. Like when they did that, instead of dropping the headliner to do it right, they just ripped it out. It is just, that's why there's a hole cut in the middle. Yeah. yeah. We'll do it right. But, well, I guess that's it. We're headed over to uh, Osceola. Osceola over there, huh? Like an hour away, I think. Like uh, about, yep. So, straight over on 20. You got something special to go on that one there for? Yeah, you'll see. All right. <laughs> So we're going to pick up something else. Well, it's too far for your uh, pulling truck. It's something like that. Okay. Right. <laughs> you make me wait, huh? I can't, I can't say it on video, but it'll be cool. And when okay. the video comes out in a couple right, days. No problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text you guys a picture of it. Right on. But, well, all right. Alrighty. We're going to hit the road. Thanks, Norm. That's it. Thanks, Thanks guys. Please. We'll appreciate it. We'll be in touch. All right. All right. Sounds good.